All right, so we're suited up. You're suited up. Uh, do you want the microphone or how you uh, want to do that? Well, let me. Uh... We are suited up for the uh... gauge. Help me remember what this is called. This is the Creo VR Dev Kit. So it's just a motion capture suit. The motion capture suit, the MCS. We've been following five Chillicothe High School seniors and their special projects in the CHS STEM program. If you missed any of those videos, just scroll through our Litter Media YouTube library right here, including that of the mastermind behind this whole project, Josh Montgomery, the Technology Director for Chillicothe City Schools. Our next project is Ohio University-bound Gage Daniels, who, as you can see, has gotten me involved. For the sake of time, we sped things up to get us to the point we want to be with the motion capture suit. All right, so uh, as you can see, I'm all geared up for some motion and we're going to capture that motion through the sensors that are on here hence the motion capture suit this is gage daniels and gage tell us about this project so basically a motion capture suit is consisted of uh, 16 sensors and they are all connected through this hub right here on your chest i'm tony stark yeah basically you're tony <laughs> stark this is his uh, power source cool all the wires are ran through a series of these little holes right here and they all run to the hub. So you got sensors from on your feet all the way to your head. All right, so what is this going to do? Um, basically your movement is gonna be displayed on the screen and wherever you're moving, it's gonna show it as an animation on the computer screen. So what do we need to do to make this happen? All right, so I need you to stand in a T-pose. Just like this? Just like that. Okay. And I gotta hit calibrate suit. Calibration is underway. Yeah. And then as soon as we start streaming, lower your arms slowly. Oh, look at me. I'm a true stick man. And you can wave. <laughs> that is can incredible. Move your legs and so it just at imitates time, your movement. At one time, Gage, I was really that skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. So a motion capture suit is used in a lot of today's like movie films. So any like special effects are so like take for the Incredible Hawk for example. Actually, a person just wears a suit and then they animate everything around the suit. So they would wear not one specifically like this, but be a morph suit made out of like green material mm -hmm. and then they're able to animate the like the body around the suit like that and a lot of vi video games today are created through motion capture as well so what have you learned through this whole experience um to never give up and that i've had uh, a lot of time troubleshooting this because you have some sensors that go bad you know, like a lot of factors that make the suit not operate to its fullest ability mm -hmm. so i spent a lot of time uh, just researching and trying to figure out how to get it like 100 percent accurate and as you can see now it's pretty accurate as far as motion capture goes so do you have any product here that you have recorded yes all right so here i have a uh, animation of boba fett and it actually has my skeletal system in it see you can see my head poking through his helmet and I have a animation captured of me wearing the suit and I was doing a bow so this is that animation right there on the screen and it was just pre-recorded and then I was able to animate a body around it like mold a character and I did that all um, through blender as well, blenders used to create animations and cartoons and intros and stuff like that. I also have a animation created that I thought we could play on the jumbotron at the football games. Mm -hmm. Like anytime we scored a touchdown or something, blender can be used to create animations. So it's just ice breaking away, and then it restarts and displays the Cavalier. Neat. 
th this has been a really cool thing to play with, I'm sure. But yeah. uh, you took a lot of setup time to make this happen, didn't you? Yeah, um, I had quite a few problems with it. Um, it seems like any time I would get something fixed, I would have to, something else would go wrong, like the, the hub was not charging correctly after I figured out one of the sensors was uh, facing the wrong direction. You have 16 sensors and they all have to be facing a certain direction towards the hub. So like you have some that are on the shoulder and the arms that are level with the hub and there's an arrow indicating where it should be pointing. Well, it's kind of confusing when it's level towards the, the hub. So um, it took me a couple weeks to figure out that I had the sensors facing the wrong direction. <laughs> and then after that, um, the suit was working for a couple days and then the hub stopped charging for some mm -hmm. reason. And then the next problem was the calibration. When you first calibrate the suit, you have to place it in its original casing and then rotate the box on like all the axis of the, the suit. Mm -hmm. So you have to just rotate the box and that uh, calibrates every sensor. See, what I did the first time is I put the suit on and I did the dance calibration. So to calibrate the sensors, I put the suit on and I would dance with the suit on. Well, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured out I was wrong in that area and then I fixed that and then now the suit's 100% accurate and it's working and I'm able to create animations. Uh, I can mold characters out of the skeletal system that it captures by just someone wearing the suit and it's a successful project. Did you give this a test run during the prom at all? No. Oh, that would have been cool. <laughs> yeah, it would have been pretty cool. <laughs> I've been the cool, coolest person on the dance floor for yeah. sure. <laughs> Maybe the next dance. <laughs> Watch for this to happen.